You are Locked On Bulldogs, your daily podcast on the Georgia Bulldogs. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Hello and welcome to the Locked On Bulldogs podcast. I am Daniel. Hey, and I'm Clint. Welcome back. It's Thursday. It's one of our favorite days of the week Mm. here on the podcast. It's because we take two things that we love and we jam them together. We take Mm. Georgia football and we take betting on football. And and the Venn diagram is not Mm. just a little bit together. That that Venn diagram is just one circle. That's right. That's right. Hey, if you found the podcast, we're glad you're here. Daniel and I talk UGA football like fans because guess what? He's a fan. I'm a fan. We're all fans. And if you're an Auburn fan, you're here a little too early. A little just, early. Just We'll get to you. Don't worry. Go take care mm-hmm. of Happy Valley or have Happy Valley take care of you, and then we'll talk. Sure. Um, locks to come on that game, I am certain. Mm. Um, we talk like fans do, not gurus or insiders, because guess what? No such thing as a guru or an insider whatsoever. People who are making crystal balls, we are not. But we talk like fans, just like you, to hope your fandom increase and ours increases as well. That's right. So if you found the podcast and you're a Georgia fan, you are in the right place. Don't um, expect us to be breaking down film or, um, as Clint said, predicting where 17-year-olds are going to commit to school. Also, don't expect us to be tweeting at 17 year olds or engaging with them on social media whatsoever none None. nor should you just to reiterate nor should you uh we're georgia fans you're a georgia fan and that is what the podcast is all about so uh we're glad that you're here we're here five days a week and there are two primary ways that you can find us you can find us wherever podcasts are found and so if you're listening to this right now uh, on Spotify or Stitcher or Apple Podcasts or any of those places where you can get podcasts. We are there and all over the place. Uh, but another way you can find us is on YouTube. Uh, if you search yes, for sir. Lockdown Bulldogs on the YouTube machines, uh, we are on there as well. And so if you're watching on YouTube right now, then subscribe to the channel and then go find the podcast and subscribe to that. And if you're listening to the podcast right now, then subscribe to that and then go over to YouTube and subscribe to that you can get with this mm, i knew you I knew and you were go there. and you can get with that see ben we're Diagram. famous we're famous clint for saying on this podcast more maybe more than we've said anything else clint what is it uh two things can be true at the same time daniel mm, that's my right. family i got i got extended family who mm-hmm. says that now extended yeah. family outside of my own roof saying that now we have arrived Good. Good to be making an impact in the world, uh, Clint. Two things can be true at the same time. You can subscribe to us in two different places at the same time. Do that. Leave us a five-star rating and review. Click that thumbs up on YouTube, whatever it is, to let people know about Bring the show. That, that helps us out a bunch. Um, uh, thanks for listening. And as always, we would love to interact with you, especially if you're a Georgia fan. Uh, send us an email, lockedonbulldogs at gmail.com. Obviously, you can drop a comment on YouTube or you can hit us up on Twitter at Dogs Podcast. All of those are great ways to get in touch with us. But Clint, today is about the locks. It's a special day. It's our first locks uh, episode on YouTube. So if you're new to the podcast, um, this is how it works. We're going to talk about uh, all the games that we feel confident about in college football this weekend. It's our way of kind of previewing uh, quite a few of the games on the slate. But we're going to start, as always, with the Georgia game because that is what the podcast is all about. And so um, just to just to bring everybody up to speed, last week we went 6-6 six and six on, on the locks. Uh, 17 and 12 on the season so far, Clint, that's, that's putting money in the pockets of the mm-hmm. listeners. That's what we mm-hmm. care about. Um, had some good picks. Oregon plus 14 and a half. Hello. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, we did that UGA UAB over 45 hit, Clint. Did that no nope. did no, that let me cash. Think. Did, did we say hammer aside on that one? Yeah, that, that'd be accurate. Um had some stinkers as well. Um USC. Texas. Texas. Yeah. USC. Uh not great picks on our part but six and six on the week we're gonna do better this week 
Uh, and it starts with this Georgia game, Clint. So this is our opportunity to give some kind of official predictions, including obviously a score in the Georgia-South Carolina game. We've talked about it a little yesterday. We'll talk about it a little bit more tomorrow. But um, what do you think is going to happen in this game? And do you, at this moment, have a lock? The uh, The spread right now is uh-huh. sitting hovering anywhere between – I've seen as low as 30 and a half, and I've seen as high as 32. Yep. Um, the over under right now is sitting anywhere between 48 and a half and 49 and a half. Do you have a lock in this game, and how do you think it's going to play out? Uh, don't have a lock because that's a lot of points, Daniel. Ooh. Yeah, it's a lot of points. That's a lot of points. I um, 31 is kind of my threshold that I get to, if you're okay. favored by 31 points, I typically stay away. Typically. Mm. There are a handful of occasions where I'll come back in to the waters. Uh, and that total. You'll be uh, betting that. A- You'll be betting that Georgia minus 31 by kickoff, Clint. But you're not going to um, give it out as a lock. You respect 100%. the people too much. You respect the people too much. I bet on every single, just, I bet on every single Georgia game, people. Okay. Yep. Like, but not here. I'm not giving that as a lock. No. No, I can't do it. Um, no. uh, I will tell you, I do have a lock in this game. I absolutely have a lock in this game. It's on that total. Um, Clint, what did we talk about yesterday on the podcast? South Carolina, what's that can offense they, looking like? What's that? Can, they, can run? they run the ball? No. Can they pass? No. So, so let me follow up with a third question. Can they score? No. No. No, they can't score. So... Single digits for South Carolina. That's money in the bank. Single digits for South Carolina. Now, what's the? Uh, do you have a, a side under on that one? I don't what's have the- a side under yet. It's okay. Wednesday night as we're recording, and the side unders have not been released yet. Those typically come out on Thursdays. Um, I I suspect right now the line is thirty one. And the over under is uh, about 49, 48, yeah. 49. Which means the side under on it's going to be around eight or nine, uh, the South Carolina side, and so that's going to be, I think seven to nine is a is a fairly predicted range that South Carolina might finish, maybe six to nine, single digits though. You can take that to the bank. Now that means, do I think Georgia is going to score? Uh, that's the question. Forty plus points in this game because if Georgia scores forty plus then the over is a decent bet. If I think Georgia is going to score under, then it's the under. And I think it's the under, Clint. I do not think Georgia is going to be as explosive this week as they were last week. A lot of busted coverages from Nelson. I know South Carolina is not good, but these are SEC players out here. A lot of busted coverages from UAB. None of this has to do with the quarterback uncertainty or anything like that. This all has to do with the fact that I think Georgia's offense came out and put a million points on the board. And so people might be expecting that to be a regular thing. I think Georgia scores 30, 35, 38 in this game. But I think like 38 to 6 is a completely reasonable final score in this game. And 38 to 6 is going to cash comfortably in that under. So I'm not saying hammer the under as I have been the last two weeks. I said hammer the under week one, hammer the over week two. But I am saying bet the under and lock it up. So that's my first lock of the week is Georgia under. And that's that's kind of how I expect the game to play out, similar to that. Um, How do you expect it to play out? Give us a score prediction, even if you're not locking anything up. Uh, I'm not locking anything up. Even the over-under, I would lean under on this heavily. But I think last week showed me that if, given the opportunity, Georgia's going to keep that playbook open. And if we kept it open against UAB, certainly going to keep it open against South Carolina. So there's a chance the over hits. I, I don't think a good one, um, but I see the game playing out very, very similar. Uh, 35, I think, is what we're going to top out at for our mm. our total. Again, I, Vanderbilt a couple of years ago, I mean, we, we didn't score until we, we left the field. These are SEC schools as much as they're jokes. Um, it's it's better than what uh, what old uh, Auburn's been playing so far, you know. That's, um, that's so fair. Really had, coming after the Auburn fans watching the podcast I'm, today. 
I am already my blood Mid-season lust. Season four. We don't play them for several weeks, Clint. You know, I, right? it's it just, is sky high. There are two teams. <laughs> there are two games on this schedule that I'm I am nervous and excited for. Um, I am nervous to death about a Kentucky game. Let me go on record as saying Kentucky week. I am not going to be a well man. Auburn <laughs> week. We gonna be partying. We gonna no. be just fine. Ooh. Um, no, I would lean under as well. Uh, but this game is gonna be thirty-five to nine. I think they get a couple, couple of field goals in there. Three field goals to be exact. But thirty-five nine. Yeah, I'm locking up the under forty-nine and a half. Um, and neither of us have a play on the total. All right, we got a bunch more games we're gonna get to uh, to give out some locks. If you are the type that enjoys placing a wager, then you mm-hmm. more are gonna want to listen to the rest of this show. Even if you're not, this is gonna be a great insight into how Clint and I see this weekend of college football playing out. But first, want to tell you about the fine folks over at Rock Auto. Dot com. Um, uh, they are the place to go to get every part that your car will ever need. Why would you go to an auto parts store and walk in and talk to some guy, some kid behind the counter? No mustache whatsoever. I None. mean, zero mustache whatsoever. And this kid is going to type into his little computer there. He's going to walk back to the back. He's going to come back and he's going to tell you they're out of stock of the part. This that you just need. in. And so what they need to do is they need to order it from the warehouse. Well, guess what? You can order it from the warehouse. It's called rockauto.com. You go on your computer. They have every part that your car will ever need. It gets shipped straight to your door. It's fast. It's convenient. It's reliably low priced. And it's the exact right part that your car needs, whether it's interior, exterior, cosmetic, or mechanical. RockAuto.com is the place to go. Type in "locked on" in the "How did you hear about us?" section to let them know that we sent you and get the exact right part for your car at RockAuto.com. All right, All right where do you want to start? How many how many locks you got? How many how many do I have? Let me pull up the sheet here. I am sitting on I'm sitting on five for sure. Pl- the, in addition to the one I've already given out. How okay. many you got? Okay, I have one, two, three, four, five. I have six and two two possible logs to add on. Oh boy, six this... with two possibles. Man's trying to build a bonfire tonight. All right, well let's, let's... go. You be- you better just kick us off here, Clint. I get you out the I door. Don't let's know go. What anybody else has watched? I am clueless. I'm going to start okay. with. The marquee matchup of the weekend that everybody's excited for. I'm going to go to the whiteout. I'm going to Happy Valley. I'm yeah. going to Penn okay. State. Okay. All right. Bo Nix okay. is what? not playing at home. Okay. Now these are interesting words. Does that mean something, Clint? Is that when he doesn't play at home? Say more. He's worse than bad. Okay. Ah. He's okay. awful. His yes. his entire life, and he is going up north to Pennsylvania. He's going up PA. Mm-hmm. It's going to be white out. It's going to be raucous. And don't you dare tell me that they face raucous crowds. I know they fought, face raucous crowd in the SEC, but let me tell you, Bo Nix, it is not. It, he's going to be rattled. Um, I have two locks in this game, Daniel. I got two. Oh, he going he going double dip in this game. He I put to- that. I grabbed that extra log already. I worked myself into a full lather talking to myself. I did it. I grabbed that extra lock. <laughs> All right. Uh, so one of those locks Penn is State. Penn State minus six, I assume. Penn, I got it at minus five. Oh, you seeing? Oh, better number out there. Okay. Go, shop around. Go look. Shop around. I got it at minus five, probably okay. at minus six um, right now as the game. There's another one that line moved on me, which made my bet turn into a lock before we got on here. But Penn State minus five. And then the over under is 53. Auburn's not scoring more than 13 points in this game. Oh, Okay. 20, 25, 22, 23 wins this under. It is going to be rock. Penn State is not going to, they're going to try to do what Penn State does. Auburn's not going to be able to do what they've done the first two games against inferior opponents. Give me the under 53 and give me Penn State minus five. Wow. Double dipping in the wide. You're going to be fully committed to that wide out. You're I, I you on. You're gonna have the whole. You're gonna have the white wig on. You just be fully <laughs> committed to that uh, blizzard conditions up there yes, in in college. What's that? College Station? No, that's yeah. that's, that's College Texas Station. 
is Texas A&M. That's, that's what do they call that place in? State College. State College. That's what they call it. Old Penn State. Um, all right. Where am I going to go first? Uh, let me see. I, I'm going to go with my favorite bet of the week uh, first. And it is um, a team I've been high on all year. And I don't see any reason to do anything different in this spot. And and man, that double dip, Clint, <laughs> makes me want to <laughs> makes me want to double dip in this game because mm-hmm. I've got I've got a lock and a lean in this game. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna give you my lock right now. I'm gonna try to be disciplined. I care too much for you, the people. But my lock is Old Miss minus thirteen and a half against Tulane. Mm. Old Miss going to smoke. Tulane in this game. I know y'all saw the Oklahoma game. M-Dubs, congratulations to you and the lucrative cash winnings that came your way because of that Tulane cover in the Oklahoma game. Um, Tulane is not is not as good as they looked against Oklahoma. Because Oklahoma's Ol- bad. Ole Miss is as good as they looked against Louisville. And I'll tell you what it is. It's that Ole Miss defense, Clint. They're not awful anymore. Listen, you know Lane Kiffin can scheme. You know Matt Corral oh, yeah. can find open receivers. And listen, they lost some dudes, but they got some dudes. You saw that in the Louisville game. They got some got, dudes at receiver. They got a linebacker and a safety on that Ole Miss D now that, ooh, they come with it's bad It's the defense, but, though. Wait wait a second. Wait a second. We, we may know one of those guys. Daniel, it stings for you. Yeah. It's old Otis. It's old Otis. Listen, I forgot about Otis. Listen, I, Christopher Smith and Lewis Seen. O- Otis Reese couldn't even get me to look at him these days <laughs> on the Georgia roster. So, so listen, good for him. I'm glad yeah. he's out there. I'm glad he's playing. Give me Ole Miss minus 13 and a half. And while you're at it, Clint, you might consider. Come on. Come on. Under Is this- 78. No, Daniel. This is uh, the the considered segment is is after the mics no, go lock off. It up. This is just lock it up. Double dip. Lock it up. Clint, seventy eight. Ooh, that's the number. That's the number that that's I'm a lot seeing. of points. Um, Ole Miss gonna score, but Tulane's not hitting thirty in this game. So seventy eight is a very safe number. Anything over 75, I'm locking up the under. So I got it at Ole Miss, Tulane, under 78, and Ole Miss minus 13 and a half. Lock them both up. Uh, my third lock, Daniel, is I'm glad you went ahead and double dipped because my lock is the under on this Ole Miss total as well for exactly mm. what you just said. Ole Miss is going to score whatever they want. And uh, Tulane's going to try, but they're not going to have the horses to go with it. 78 is a gigantic number like y'all i don't think you understand it's a stupid number go get after it right now it's far too much so daniel and i are in agreement on that Uh, i'm going to take you to uh, a team that is down it's in the dumps everybody wants to kick it and everybody wants to kick it for a good reason and you should kick it because they are a abysmal program that really escalated quickly just i thought you were going to rescue that team no that everyone's trying no no you just said the Throw, throw something else on there. Mrs. Bobby Bowden has already filed suit against Florida State to never use her husband's name ever again in like She doesn't deserve it. She doesn't no, deserve she, the treatment. They are awful. Wake Forest is getting giving five points to Florida. Lay the points. Take Wake Forest. Florida State is bad. They are bad. They are bad. And nothing's going to change them being bad. Guys, they don't have the players. Five they don't points. have the personnel. Five. Just five. Bowser. That's it. Just five. Uh, give me Wake Forest. Minus five. Florida State is bad. Um, They're bad. So bad. We talked about it yesterday on the podcast. Um, all right. Uh, I'm going to give out one more before we go to break. And um, I, I was waiting for you, Clint. I do this every week, but I can't wait any longer. So I gave you an opportunity. You've given out several fine locks. None of them have been Cincinnati minus three and a half. But why have you not locked up Cincinnati minus three and a half yet? Because, listen, Cincinnati 
is a full, I don't know, 10 points better than Indiana on a neutral field? Minimum seven. So you're telling basement. me, you're telling me that the home home field advantage for Indiana is worth six and a half points? No. No. Uh, Luke Fickle, not Ooh. distracted by the USC rumors. Luke Fickle, ready to make the college football playoff with this team. Yes, he knows sir. that there's two games this year. Two games. There's this game, and there's the game against Notre Dame. If they win those two games and 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 then take care of business on the rest of their schedule, Cincinnati will be in position to be a strong contender for the college football playoff at the end of the season. This team's going to be locked in, and Indiana's just not ready. They're not ready for the physicality, for no. the toughness, and for the team that Cincinnati has. Give me Cincinnati minus three and a half, and this is an easy, easy, easy lock. Uh, when Daniel and I agree, things happen. We were 87% last year when we agreed. We agree on two so far. Give me Cincinnati three and a half. The line's already moved to four uh, because Ooh. people realize their mistake. So it's You can moving. still take four. It's a fine. You can I'd still be fine four. with four, but I got a three and a half. Shop around, look for a three and a half. I double dip as well. We're going to come back with more. But first, I want to let you know about Sweat Block. Sweat Block is doctor created, doctor recommended. Works up to seven days per use. Dry shirt guarantee. A sweat block doesn't keep you dry. You get your money back. Featured and tested on Rachel Ray by firefighters. That's very important, Daniel. Very important. It is important. Uh, important. It's been a bestseller on Amazon. Rachel for Ray, years. not a firefighter. She is not. She She's is not. a talk show host, but she, but it was tested by firefighters on her show. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm trying okay. to tell the people, Daniel. Clarify. Um, Thank you. It's gotten over 13,000 reviews. It is wear what you want. It's your little secret of confidence. This is a must have for everyone's toiletry bag. Right now, you go over to sweatblock.com, use promo code LOCKED ON, and you're going to get 20% off your entire order. 20% off sweatblock.com with promo code LOCKED ON or at Amazon and CVS. Also want to let you know about betonline.ag. We've been saying shop around. That's the first place that you should go to shop around. It's betonline.ag. It's the place that Clint and I go to place all of these wages that you're hearing about right now. Betonline.ag. They are your online sportsbook experts. You go there. They've got college football, every single bet that you would ever want to place. They've got spread, money line, parlays. Uh, they've got prop bets. they got over-unders. they got team totals. Everything that you want in a college football betting situation is at betonline.ag. Go there right now, enter the promo code locked on, and they're going to give you a 100% match on your first deposit. That is 100% of your money on top of whatever you deposit. Essentially, you're going to get double the money with which to gamble with at betonline.ag. Go there now, enter the promo code locked on and place these wagers along with Clint and I and watch the money accumulate. BetOnline.ag, your online sportsbook experts. All right, All right. Daniel, we got a couple more logs to throw in this fire, a couple more bets. I sure double down with you, and I think it is your turn. All right, well, I am going to go to another three-and-a-half-point favorite, Clint. People scared of these hooks. People are scared. The half, the, is, the half is scary. Daniel, I'm telling you People right now. see that three and a half and they say, oh, you're saying if this team only loses by a field goal, then, then I win the bet. So maybe I'll just take this underdog because all they have to do is keep it within a field goal. Well, what I mean, what happens when they lose by 13 points? That's it's These three and a half point wagers are Las Vegas' way of telling you, I want you to bet on this team. Here's just some quick some life lesson for you. When Las Vegas wants you to bet on one team, you should be betting on the other team. <laughs> you Go zag. the other way. Zag exclusively. Um, so I'm taking Boise State minus three and a half. Oklahoma State, uh, Clint, is not good at football. They're, in fact, bad at football. Uh, running back from Canada – no longer there. Not not present. Uh, 
They barely beat Tulsa last week. And they barely beat Missouri State the week before that. I'm talking about they beat Missouri State by single digits. Missouri State at home. Okay. Boise uh, is a good team. Boise, we gave out UCF week one as a lock, and we cashed on that lock, but that was not the right side of that game. It was it was razor. We were sweating it. We were that was was the better team. Boise was the better team in that game. Boise is a fine team. They are not missing Brian Harson. Uh speaking of the whiteout, uh, he might be missing them after this week, but they are not missing him. Give me Boise State minus three and a half and lock it up. We agreeing on this one too, Clint? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's Round go. Three. Let's, uh, let's Boise do it State again. Gonna, going to run them out of the building, Daniel. You know what I'm saying? A lot of agreement, Clint. Um, We're Boise either going to have a very good week or a very bad week of locks. All in or all out. This line has jumped to four, Daniel. It was three and a half. It's jumped to four in favor of Boise um, because money's coming in. Uh, look, take it anyway. Guys, take take the four, take the three and a half, no problem. All right. I found one dog. One underdog that you're willing to bet on. I got yeah, I've got, I got two more bets, and only one of them is an underdog. I haven't given out an underdog yet, and I've only got I've only got one on the card. If you give the other underdog, I have one other that's a potential. If you give that dog as your lock, I'm jumping in with you. Okay? I'm not going to let you know what it is. So I have a lock that's mine, unrelated to you. I'm going to give out this dog. This is I, there are negotiation tactics happening now on the Locks podcast. This is never this is ne- this is off the script. M Dubs, what do I do? <laughs> what? Do, all right, give out your. Do you have another favorite? Give out your favorite first. We'll save the dogs for the end. Are you done? No, 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 no. I I have two bets. One's a lock. One's a lean. Both dogs. Both dogs. All right, I'm going to give out my favorite, and then we'll get to the. We'll save all the dogs for the end. I got because go. I got one more favorite. I can't believe you're not on one more favorite. Why is everyone not? You know that the line has been bought down to 14 points, Clint. Like, it's it opened at 15 and a half. Yeah. But you understand that right now, Alabama is only favored by 14 points against Florida. 14 points, Clint. So, well, that's so something. That's, okay. Alabama minus 14. Give me Alabama minus 14. Now, maybe I push on this game. Maybe sure. I push, but I don't lose. I don't lose this bet. Listen to me. I don't lose this bet. I wanted to take the under in this game because I kind of think the over is the public side. People see Florida, mm. Dan Mullen. People mm-hmm. see Alabama, uh, high flying offense, Bryce Young, obviously. Um, I kind of wanted to take the under in this game, but it's I think I'm going to stay away from right it. Now. I think I'm going to stay away from it, even though I still think it might be good. I think this game could be sneaky, low scoring, but I still think Florida's going to or Florida's going to get dominated by Alabama. So it, I wasn't going to touch it when it was at 15 points, but at 14 points, I can get a push. Give me Alabama minus 14. I got nothing to lose. I like that bet. I'm not locking it up, but I like the bet. Um, All right. Here's my the dog. underdogs. What's what's your what's your underdog? Is Manny Diaz good at coaching football? No, no. Is Mel Tucker good at coaching football? To be is he better? Is he <laughs> yeah. better? Sure. Than Manny. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Michigan State getting six points against Manny mm-hmm. Diaz. Oh, I can get you six and a half. I see it right here in front of me. Six and a half. Give me <laughs> six and a half. I will go bet this again. Michigan State mm-hmm. plus six and a half against Miami. Miami's bad. And uh, Michigan State is is running people out of the building right now. Daniel, doing a good mm-hmm. job in Michigan State. Yeah, I don't know if Northwestern is very good, but uh, good good team, good coach, good program. Uh, players yeah. might not be there, but that's a respectable team. I would not bet. I would not bet on Miami. That's for sure. I cannot join you in that lock, but I do appreciate it. Um, I appreciate your appreciation. Let me let me type it on the sheet here uh, so I don't forget it. All right. Um, I knew we weren't going to have the same dog, Clint, because my dog is well, so ugly that no well, one would bring it to the dance. Well. Um, 
Sometimes there comes a point in your life. You bet on you bet UTEP last week. Don't don't remind the Some, people. Sometimes there comes a point in your life. M dubs, cover your ears. Cover your ears. I don't want I don't need you here in this. Sometimes you have to bet on Kansas. Okay. Sometimes you have to bet Kansas. Yep. That's right. Oh no, okay. Daniel. No, no, yeah. no. No, 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 no. Wait. Just wait. Wait. I said wait. Wait. Okay. Um Kansas is a 17 and a, no, an 18 and a half point underdog. 18 and a half points to Baylor, Clint. To the Baylor Bears, Clint. Do you do I let me tell you, let me tell you about the Baylor football program. Okay? Mhm. Okay. Baylor Okay. Baylor blew out Texas Southern last week. Okay. And then the week before that, they beat Texas State by nine points. Baylor beat Texas State by nine points. This game is at Kansas. I'm not saying that's an advantage for Kansas, but it won't be a home field advantage for Baylor. All they have to do is keep it to win an 18 and a half point within 18 points. Kansas wants to run the ball. They want to run the clock. They want to shorten the game. It's not like Kansas is an option team. But that's the way they want to win these games. And there's always these games in the Big 12 every single year. Last year, it was the West Virginia game. West Virginia, Kansas. You remember that game? Kansas returned a kickoff for a touchdown in that game, and they hung yep. around and hung around. There's always these Big 12 games. I'm not saying Kansas is going to win the game. But this has all the feelings of a game that Kansas is going to hang around in and all I need them to do is be within 18 points and I cash. Give me Kansas plus 18 and a half. I'm not scared of it. I feel confident in my lock, Clint. You coming? You coming in? The water's fine. You jump, you're gonna jump in on this one? You are sick and depraved. <laughs> Thank you, sir. May I have another? My lean for a dog that I'm not giving out as a lock because it's no way okay. Kansas. Uh, Fresno State, good team. Yeah, they're a good team. Sure, they're they're catching eleven and a half against UCLA. Now UCLA, you want to go ahead? You if you UCLA put Fresno State to bed definitively, mm -hmm. UCLA, you're for real. Like I'm, I'm with you now. But right, it's a lean, and I don't know what's going to be because Fresno State's a good team as well. This is a prove it to me, which is why I'm not giving out as a lot because UCLA could come out of that tunnel and just trounce them by 21 points. Um, if that happens, I'll be a believer in UCLA. Until then, I'm not. So it's a lean for me, but not a lock. Uh, Listen, Daniel, that the, does Pac it. the Pac-12 South is garbage, Clint. But what if? Garbage. What if I told you? Okay. They would make a 30 for 30 about this, by the way. What if I told you that? UCLA went undefeated this year and played against undefeated Oregon. Chip Kelly against undefeated Oregon for a spot in the college football playoff in the Pac-12 championship game. That might be the most fun football game of the year if Very that well, scenario yeah. played out. Like That yep. would be insanely – I don't think it's going to because UCLA – I do – like UCLA in this game quite a bit. But uh, interestingly, not giving it out as a lock. All right, recap. Georgia under 49.5, Penn State minus 5, uh, Penn State under 53, Ole Miss minus 13.5, Ole Miss under 78, that's a that's a double. Wake minus 5, Cincy minus 3.5, that's a double. Boise minus 3.5, that's a double. Alabama minus 14, Michigan State plus 6.5, and, and Kansas plus 18.5. That's just a bunch of winners right there, Clint. Go just go a, to the window, just, punch them in. We will mm -hmm. see you guys tomorrow where we will do excited, nervous, don't sleep on for USC Junior. We will see you guys then. See you.